stations are located on each of these flight stations. Uh, of course, we're erratic at work and we're endangering some land areas. And of course, I know, you don't let them shoot it. This is Kennedy Launch Control. And as usual, when something uh, goes right. Ignition sequence started. All engines are started. We have ignition. Oh my Two, God. one, oh zero. God. We have a liftoff. We have a liftoff, and it's lighting up the areas. It's just like oh Dale here at Kennedy Space Center. The Air 5 is moving off the pad.
that's what we have here in the Valley of Torres Litro. It's a rock composed of many fragments of many sizes and many shapes, probably from all parts of the moon, perhaps billions of years old. But a rock of all sizes and shapes, fragments of all sizes and shapes, and even colors that have grown together and become a cohesive rock, outlasting the nature of space, sort of living together in a very coherent, very peaceful manner. When we return this rock, or some of the others like it to Houston, we'd like to share a piece of this rock with so many of the countries throughout the world. We hope that this will be a symbol of what our feelings are, what the feelings of the Apollo program are, and a symbol of mankind that we can live in peace and harmony in the future. A portion of a, of a rock will be sent to a, a representative agency or museum in each of the countries represented by the young people in uh, Houston today. And we hope that they will, that rock and the students themselves, will carry with them our good wishes, not only for the new year coming up, but also for themselves, their countries, and all mankind in the future. Put that in the big bag, Gino. You know. In the big bag. Uh, Roger. We Jack salute Dean, you, uh, promise of the future. We thank you for your sentiments and your interest. And now, let me bring this camera around. To commemorate that's just Apollo 17's visit to the Valley of Taurus Litro. But it's an everlasting commemoration of what the real meaning of Apollo is to the world. We'd like to uncover a plaque that has been on the leg of our spacecraft that we have climbed down many times over the last three days. And I'll read what that plaque says to you. First of all, it has a picture of the world, two pictures, one of the North America and one of South America. The other covers the other half of the world, including Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia. Covers the North Pole and the South Pole. In between these two hemispheres, we have a pictorial view of the moon. A pictorial view of where all the Apollo landings have been made. So then when this plaque is seen again by others who come, they will know where it all started. The words are here man completed his first exploration of the moon. December 1972 A.D. May the spirit of peace in which we came be reflected in the lives of all mankind. It's signed Eugene A. Thurman, Ronald E. Evans, Harrison H. Schmidt, and most prominently, Richard M. Nixon, President of the United States of America. This is our commemoration that will be here until someone like us so some of you out there who are the promise of the future come back to read it again and to further the exploration and the meaning of Apollo. Roger, Dean, we in Houston uh, copy that and uh, echo your sentiments. And Dr. Fletcher is here beside me. Uh, I'd like to say a word to the two of you. Uh, Dean and Jack, uh, I've been in close touch with the White House uh, and the president has been following very closely your absolutely fascinating work up there. Uh, he'd like to wish you Godspeed as you return to Earth, and I'd like to personally second that. Congratulations. We'll see you in a few days. Over. Thank you, Dr. Fletcher. We appreciate 
your comments, and we certainly appreciate those of the president. And uh, whether it be civilian or military, I think Jack and I would both like to give our salute to America. And uh, Dr. Fletcher, if I may, I'd like to uh, remind everybody, I'm sure something they're aware, but this valley, this valley of history has uh, seen mankind complete its first evolutionary steps into the universe, leaving the planet Earth and going forward into the universe. I think uh, no more significant contribution has Apollo made to history. It's not often that you can foretell history, but I think we can in this case. And I think everybody ought to feel uh, very proud of that fact. Thank you very much. We'll see you in a little bit.